We all know dads enjoy messing about with their kids at the weekends, especially if there's a chance to have a kickabout. But let's face it, chaps, going straight from the office to the family sports pitch and cutting corners when it comes to warming up and cooling down could cause us a few problems. In fact, research by new life insurance brand There have revealed that a fifth of dads have had to take time off work because of injuries sustained during family activities. A lack of preparation, or let's face it, overdoing it, could see dad reaching for a bag of frozen peas. And as some injuries can cause time off work, this can have a negative impact on your finances. Help avoid picking up injuries by warming up before exercise and consider protecting yourself financially in case a really serious injury means you can't work for a number of months or more. So I'm here now with Paul, your typical dad, to show him how to get ready to exercise with the kids. Well, the main thing is, it's quite good to use the furniture to help you warm up. So you're sitting there, your, your tea might be going cold, but the kids want to go outside. So first thing to do is stretch your hamstrings, okay? And just hold it there nice and tight. And then the more you feel that you've got the stretch, see if you can go a little bit further into your hamstring. Make sure you do both as well. In the same position, so you can just do your quads as well as your hamstrings and you just hold that for sort of five seconds. Depending on what sport you're gonna do, you know, if it's, if it's football, you're gonna be moving at pace. If it's tennis, you're obviously gonna make sure that you, um, you know, warm up your upper body as well. Let's just make sure that we stretch off those arms and your neck, so this is a good way of getting the, the shoulders sort of stretched across your body, both sides, and of course your neck. So we're gonna do some press-ups, so if you wanna, Go behind me and follow me. So the first thing is we're all the way down. Something like that. And after you've done maybe 10 press-ups, just hold it down there so you're holding the arms. Let's have a go, pull. And do I need to have my hands at a certain It distance? doesn't matter where, whichever way. So keeping your body straight, nice and straight. Nice. Bit of a straighter body. Get some more weight through those arms, that's better. Now you're starting to shake and hold it at the bottom for five. Nice, come up and sit down on here. So now you're gonna do five sit-ups. So bring the knees up. Okay, five, one, good. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and up we go. And the last one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now that we've done a bit of the upper body, a bit of the lower body, we've got to make sure the centre of the body is, is nice and stretched. So once you get the stretch here into your adductors, you're going to push as much as you can. Have a go at that, Paul. Make sure you do both legs all the way through. So you're doing the groins, the hip flexors, the adductors, and swap over. Make sure you do both sides. You've done this before. All the way, all the way. Nice. Right, you ready to take on the kids? Let's do it. Let's go.